teaching and I'm teaching here at Papillion Landing. We're putting a video together showing you a dance called the Tush Push. It's a good dance. It's been around for a good long time. Traditional country line dance. It's got 40 counts to it. So it's a little longer than an average line dance. It's about 32 counts. But it's not real hard and it's bilateral. So what that means is almost everything the right foot does, the left foot follows suit. I'm going to give you a couple different angles, three of them in fact, so you can see it from profile from the rear and profile. And that should get you a good start. And then maybe we'll put a little music by Chad Lee in here in a little bit and show you some more. There's classes going on Papillion Landing now. So if you want to check things out, go to their Facebook page. And when those classes start back up, you can be all ready to go when they pull the trigger. So it'll be good to go. We're going to show you on this one. It's 40 counts. It's a four wall dance called Tush Push. Your right foot's the leader, means the left foot will follow. To start the first four counts, you're going to touch your right heel front, toe across, heel, heel. Simultaneously, your right foot's going to magically come back, your left heel is going to come out, so it's heel, toe across, heel, heel. Now you're going to alternate three and clap, and that's simply right, left, right. Our fourth count is the clap, and while you're doing it, you notice my body turns slightly. This is still the direction of my front wall that I'm looking at even though I turn my waist because I'm going to do some hips and it works a lot better if you go with your hips sideways than a pelvic thrust. So we're going to bump two hips forward, we're going to bump two hips back, and then we're going to rock forward, back, forward, back. And by this time it may have dawned on you why they call it the tush push. So let's start again from the beginning. The right foot starts for four, left foot for four, alternate three and clap. Again, it's heel, toe, heel, left foot, heel, toe, heel, alternate, right, left, right, two hips forward, two hips back, forward, back, forward, back. To this point, we haven't even traveled anywhere. We're just going to start now. Just like you're spinning in gravel, your right foot's in front already, it's going to initiate your shuffle. So when you shuffle, you're going to go three movements for two counts. And it's going to go right, left, right. It looks like this. Watch the feet close. Right, left, right. Rock forward, left. Left, right, left. Rock back on your right. Repetitive movements like this is good for practice. Just keep doing that. Right, left, right. Rock, step. Left, right, left. Rock. Notice it always takes over. The right foot goes forward. Then the left foot comes back. And it passes the other foot. You only have to do the straight forward and straight back twice. And then when you're going forward on the second set, shuffle forward on your right. You're going to plant your left foot like you're on a balance beam. You're perfectly balanced. You're going to pivot halfway. Feet don't move. You just swivel halfway. You're going to bring your left foot passing your right. Shuffle it forward. Shuffle forward. Plant your right toe of this right foot. You're going to push halfway again. So there's two of those consecutive, alternating between right and left. That works. This third one's all by itself. You're going to step across like you want a big horse. That's too big a horse. Bring it back. Stomp and clap. That's the actual 40th count the clap is of the dance. So we did 40 counts already, and we got a quarter turn to the left. So in line dances, if you're not familiar, there'll be one wall dances, there's two wall dances, this is a four wall dance, it's a quarter turn to the left from where we started. Let's go one more time in this direction, give you a profile, then we'll show it from the rear, and then we'll give you the other profile there. So as you're doing this, try to memorize the steps as quickly as possible. When you get them memorized, bring your chin up, don't look down at your feet, listen to the verbal instructions, and you'll commit it to memory a lot faster. Starting with your right foot, you're going to go heel, toe, heel, heel. Left, toe, heel, heel. Right, left, right. Fourth count, clap. Two hips forward, two hips back. Forward, back, and forward. Shuffle forward. Shuffle forward, rock on your left. Shuffle back, rock on the right. Shuffle the right forward, just like you did the first time, but this one's different. You're going to plant your left foot. On the next count, you're going to pivot half in one count. Then you're going to bring your left foot through, do that shuffle, three movements for two counts, plant the right foot. This is two counts where you plant and pivot. Then there's that big Clydesdale that you can't afford, so bring it back to a Shetland, stomp, and clap your hands. 
That's the end of the dance. I'm going to stay here because now you can look directly at the screen. Follow my right foot go. Heel, toe, heel, left foot. Heel, toe, three, then clap. One, two, three. Even though my body's turned, this is still my main wall. I'm doing the hips in place. I shuffle a straight line forward. You can really see where that balance is good because you're gonna stay on the same block on the floor. You're gonna plant on the first one, pivot half, bring it through, shuffle your left, plant right, do the exact same steps with the opposite foot. Then the third one is step over big, bring it back together, your right to your left, clap. 40 total counts, our final profile view. Right foot for four. Heel, toe, heel, heel. Heel, toe, three, then clap. Right, left, then right. Even though our body's turned, I'm still focused on this wall because I know I'm gonna shuffle straight forward and back. Shuffle forward, left. Shuffle back, right. Shuffle, plant just your left toe and push. Shuffle, plant your right toe. Here's the big step across. You'll lose vision of the screen now. So you're gonna step with your back to the screen, across, bring your right foot back to your left, stop, and clap. So that's where it gets a little sketchy when you're turned away from the screen there. But I think you get it, it's 40 total counts. It's a lot of fun because once you learn the basic steps, you can add a lot of variations. And whenever a dance has been around, like a 40 count four wall dance like Tush Push, it's been around a long time, there's a lot of variations. And doing the hips, it's like fingerprints. Nobody has the same one, so they're always different. So it'll be pretty good. Let me get some music by Chad Lee for you here and practice those steps. If you ever need to pause or rewind, feel free to do that until you're comfortable and you're ready for music. Thanks. Doing the tush push. Heel, toe, heel, 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 toe. Three and clap. One, two, three. Two forward, two back. Now your shuffle. There's forward and back, straight. Now these, there's two pivots. There's one, shuffle, pivot, two. Now you get the straight on version. Right, left, three and clap. One, two, three. Two front, two back, forward, back, shuffle. Remember the front foot leads it. Pivot one, half, pivot two, half. Step big together, right foot. As soon as you clap, you can't rest. You gotta get right back. Three in, clap. Hips go. We haven't traveled till now. Shuffle forward left, shuffle back right, shuffle pivot one, shuffle pivot two, and that's the tush push. 40 total counts, four ball dance. I suggest maybe a slower song, but this one's a good one by Chad Lee that he lets me use. So I wanted to show that to you and give you a listen there. Check out Pavilion Landing. Come and see us. If you have more questions, my number 402-681-9546. I'm Rob Tejan. I dance with Country Kickers America, a social dance group that's been around for almost 40 years. Thanks for dancing.